Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of both Rutgers Prep and DePaul Catholic is brought to you by JAG Physical Therapy. New Jersey is no stranger to having teams reach the national rankings, but what we're seeing right now in the Garden State girls soccer scene is unprecedented. Not one, but two programs have been firmly ranked as top 10 high school clubs in America all season long, and it just so happens they're on a collision course. Rutgers Prep stands tall at number two in the nation, and DePaul Catholic is just five spots behind at number seven. Yeah, we try not to let it get to our heads. Obviously, it's a big thing that everyone's kind of talking about, but we put that out of our heads. We play for each other. We play for who's on the field, not off the field. And um, I think our coaches really just make us work hard in practice. Also, I think we're never looking ahead to the next game. Every game is one step at a time. So This story requires a quick history lesson. You could say the Argonauts and Spartans are well acquainted. They've met in the last three non-public B state championships. Rutgers Prep has won two straight, including last year's thriller that came down to penalty kicks. Rutgers Prep is 20-0 this season, and they're led by Addison Halpern, who has 171 career goals to her name. That's good for number three all-time in state history. The Virginia commit missed the first month of the season because she was playing in the under-20 World Cup. She watched from afar as this group created an identity without her on the pitch. Um, we have a lot of players, on our, really good players on our team, and I feel like we really stepped up without Addy, and I'm really proud of our team for all that. And now we have her back, we're even better, and we're just building, and we keep getting better each game. And I feel like our, pa our movement, our passing, our final connection is really getting better. Now with Halpern back, the Argonauts are humming. It's been over a year since their last loss, and they're headed toward a sectional final. And now that I'm back, it's just incredible to be around such an amazing group of girls. We're just so happy to be together and playing together and getting results and just working hard together. DePaul Catholic has been unstoppable in 2024. The 17-0 Spartans are averaging over five and a half goals per game, and they've allowed just seven goals all season. It all begins with Penn State pledge Nicole Crane, a complete forward whose impact is felt on the field and in the locker room. Um, I think that was a goal for ourselves to be nationally ranked, but now that we're there, our coaches keep us humble because we know that one loss can ruin that ranking. So I think we just stay in the moment and don't get too sucked up in you know all the articles and rankings and things like that. The Spartans have played in just a single one goal game all season. How is that possible? Well, with star players like Coastal Carolina commit Jasmine Owatu and Rutgers commit Gabby Sanchez, they can do it. They're just two of a handful of D1 players on the roster. Um, it's just honestly just an, such an amazing, amazing experience. It's like once in a generation team and I'm just so blessed to be a part of it and just to be surrounded by all these girls. Coming in as freshmen and starting together and just building up the program, like taking every game as like a final has helped us get to this point and just working hard every day and every game. The non-public B state final in two weeks is expected to be the final battle between these elite programs. And they know what's at stake. This year we're a different team. I think we play more as a team, we move the ball. So I think it'll be exciting to go out there and compete against them if we get there. But again, just working hard and practicing and focusing on that main goal, which is winning a state championship. Yeah, I mean, it's just taking it one game at a time and focusing on ourselves and just playing who's in front of us, not worrying about who might be in the future. Obviously, we're going to be put up against some good teams, but we focus on ourselves. We work together within ourselves. We self-motivate and we look to get the job done.